All right, guys, today I want to show you how to set up your space and begin working in Tinkercad. You're going to log into Tinkercad with your Google account. That's your school email and password. And then once you're in, you're going to press create new design and this will set up a space for you. So one of the first things I usually do is they always have these um, crazy names and sometimes you can't tell what they are. So I touch in the top left backspace and then give it a name that will sort of tell me what this is gonna be. I'm just gonna call it test. So um, I've changed the name and my next step is to place the ruler. Now I want the ruler on my work plane so that I can easily see measurements of things. So to do that, I'm gonna tap the ruler in the top right, and then I'm gonna tap on the bottom corner of my work plane, and that should place it right there for me. Um, the next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to edit my grid so I'm working in inches. And so to do that, I'm gonna tap Edit Grid, and where it says millimeters, I'm gonna tap the drop down and choose inches. And you could change the width and height of the actual work plane, but I would just suggest leaving it as it is, and you press update grid. So when you've updated your grid, you'll see in the bottom that it'll have converted that snap grid to an eighth of an inch, and that's what you should be seeing to make sure you know your grid is set up and you're ready to go. So the next step is just to learn about object placement and how to do some basic changes. So what I'll do is I'm gonna tap a box, for example, and then tap on my work plane and it will place that box. And I can use my fingers to pinch and resize and move around. And I'll see that this box is one inch by one inch by one inch. And if I rotate it, I can see that it is on the work plane. Now to change that size, if I tap in any of these one inch boxes, I can just change the dimension right there. So I've just resized my box to a half an inch cube. Now, the other thing to be aware of is um, the work plane. You want your box or any of your items that start off to be on the work plane. And I know mine is on the work plane because there's a zero over in this area. And if I press that zero, I'll show you what happens when I change it. So if I press 0.5, that's gonna raise it a half an inch up off of the work plane. So that's something to look for is that sort of shadow because if you see that shadow that means that it's not laying on the work plane or it's not connected. So I'm just going to lower that back down and make sure that's right there. So um, I have a half inch by half inch box and that would just be how I how I place a box. Right now I want to show you how to align and combine different objects on your work plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a cylinder and I'm going to tap it and place it on my work plane and I am going to go ahead and make this cylinder instead of one inch by one inch um, height wise I'm going to make that just a half of an inch. So the next thing I'm going to do is place another cylinder here that I'm going to combine and this cylinder is going to be a hole because I'm going to create a hole through this object that I've already created. So I'm going to grab this cylinder that is actually a hole and put it right down next to my current object. I need to slide this around so I can see it. And I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller than what I already have. So once I have my hole created, I want to align them so that the hole is in the middle of my other cylinder. To do that, I'm going to tap both of my objects and it'll show me that I have two selected and I'm going to press the little icon at the top that has two rectangles and that will put up these little bars that I can see how I'm aligning and if I press this middle one that's going to align them at the bottom and then if I press the middle one over here that will move my my uh, whole cylinder right into the middle. Now I have, I still have both my shapes selected. So at this point I can press group and it will create an actual hole. So that's how you align and then group your objects. Okay, so right now I wanna show you another way that you can combine objects um, by using the tool, uh, the ruler that you placed on your work plane. Um, so I want to get this roof, the green roof on top of the red cube. And to do that, I need to first 
to check on my red cube to see how tall it is and I discovered that it's one inch tall. So I need to move this green roof one inch off the work plane. So I select that and then I'm going to select this zero here showing that it's on my zero work plane and I'm going to change that to a one and it moves one inch up off the work plane. Now I have to get that roof on top of the cube. So to do that, I'm going to select my cube again, and I'm going to see where it's located on the X, Y coordinate or axis here. And I can see that um, it is 3.115 by 3.03. .03. So when I tap my roof, I want to change that to the same coordinates. And it places the roof directly on top of that cube. Now I might want to go ahead and group these objects too. So to group them, I'm just going to tap each object to select and then I'll choose my group button and it turns them all one color and shows me that they are now together. Mm -hmm.